Hey everyone, it's D Jose Free Two Bat Yes, it's 366 days of cards, day 106, and it is a Pro Card Street deck review, and I'm just in the process of opening it up. <coughs> and here it is. Alright. <coughs> now, this deck, for those of you who don't know, it's a special deck. It's an April Fool's Day deck put out by DeVoe, the designer of the Blades decks. And it's a deck that nobody knew what to expect. It was an April Fool's Day deck. It was kind of a joke deck. The first time ever there was a deck released where all we saw was this, basically. And we never saw what the cards looked like or anything like that. But I'll show you what they look like. So the front of the box, you got this. That says Pro Card of Street, playing cards on the bottom. And you got this weird looking figure with like a cow head. On this side, it says Pro Card of Street. On this side, it says Rainbow Unicorn. Alrighty then. The top is blank, bottom. Trademark stuff and the back, you got the same figure as the front of the box and no seal. And yes, I've seen what these look like, but if you haven't seen them, if they look like you're in for a bit of a surprise. So I'll open them up, I'll pull these cards out, and April Fools, it's a joke deck, that's for sure. What you got here is a well, it appears to be like a drunken acorn, or a unicorn, I should say. Acorn. Now I'm thinking of a different deck. It's a drunken unicorn, and he's vomiting up a rainbow of something. Yeah. <laughs> he still looks like one to me. And there's your back design. Pretty interesting. You got some purple clouds. You got this blue circle. It could be like a crystal ball or something. And you got some stars in the two corners, and then it's a one way back design. You got rainbow. I'm just trying to figure it out. This one, he's sliding down the rainbow kind of head first. Or, oh, sorry, this one is kind of sliding down the rainbow, I guess, ass first. And this one is head first into a cloud. That's what it is. Pretty interesting. Definitely different and colorful. We do get a double backer. And you get two jokers. In this one, you got a J on both corners and it says Joker of a lot of colors. And you got a unicorn and he is getting ready. He's in that position, he's getting ready to blow some gas. And in this one, he's letting it out. And it says still same thing basically except that in this one he's getting ready for it. He's bending over. And this one, he is releasing a fart of old farts. <laughs> <coughs> and then we got your ace of spades, which you see a there is a unicorn on it. It's a big, big spade pit, multicolored. Looks very hippie. In fact, I think I, I I'd say there's a pretty good chance that whoever designed this deck was on crack at the time and they designed it. So, just like the hippies. <laughs> um, but anyways, that's what it is. It's a unicorn on the spade pip, <clears throat> which is very colorful and it doesn't say anything on it. The rest of the cards fairly standard, standard bicycle number cards. Court cards, however, more of the same weird stuff. They're all in this pink color. And then you got the unicorns on there that look kind of drunken. There's some stars. And all the court cards are the same except for the, the crowns. He's got a purple type hat with a diamond on it. C or E, whatever it is, <laughs> has got a red crown with a 
cross on top of it, it looks like, and these got a really nice looking crown in an orangey color. And you could get a cord cards, they're exactly the same. And that's basically what you get. Now, here's the back of the cards. Looks really nice when you spread them out. And you spread them out one way, you get a rainbow effect. And this way, you also get a bit of a rainbow effect. It's pretty cool. It is a one way design. These decks are excellent for fanning, as you can see. Really nice. It's basically a fanning deck more than anything. fanning pretty good but you can see all the nice lovely colors and you fan it that way and this way as well very very nice it's a very interesting deck they did not print a whole lot of them and it can be used it can be used to card mats and stuff the only difference the only thing is of course there's no borders so some tricks will be harder to do but it's excellent for fanning and fluorescing, I guess, and stuff like that. It just looks a little bit weird, a little bit out there. Definitely not what I was expecting when I ordered it. I didn't know what to expect because, like I said, all we ever saw for months and months was this. It was, it was meant to be a joke deck, an April Fool's Day deck. But it's still good for practical use for some different, for different things. It does have a good stock and thinnest, standard bicycle stock and thinnest as far as I know, at the very least. It doesn't say, but it's at the very least a bicycle, a good bicycle stock and thinnest. It might even be a magic thinnest for all I know. And if you can, you may want to get your hands on it, it's pretty cool, I think. At first I was a little bit pissed off when I saw Sax Productions review on this and saw how what it looked like. And it's already tipping a little bit here on this card. Something that will happen with decks like this without borders. But anyway, yeah, like I said, I was a little bit upset when I first saw a review by Sax Productions and saw what they looked like. But now I'm kind of happy I got them. <laughs> And I think they're pretty interesting. Anyway, it handles really, really nice as you can see. That wasn't a great fan. handles pretty nicely, fans nicely, spreads nicely. Overall, if you're into collecting cards, you should get them. I'm not sure why I'm cutting them. <laughs> but anyways, that's my review on them. And I'll see you next time with more reviews. Blades Blood Review coming tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. I'll see you next time.